Good morning everyone. This will be a general tutorial on how to set variables in blueprints. There was some confusion in the Discord channel, so I thought I make a very general and short tutorial to show you different methods on how you can set variables in actors. So first of all, let's create a simple trigger. In this case, I'm just going to create a very simple collision box. So I can trigger this event if the actor is entering it. And I'm going to place it in the level. I also make sure that the collision box is actually visible so I can see it in the level and I don't need to search for it. So first of all, let's create this overlap event. So if something is overlapping, we print a simple string and you can see on the top left, it's already working fine. The next step would be to create the actual event we want to trigger. So let's create a new blueprint actor and I'm going to trigger a simple light. Let's open it up and create a new component, a point light in this case. Change some of the settings. I also turn off the intensity at the begin play. And we create two new custom events. One is the one activated and the other one I want to trigger if it's deactivated. And I'm just using a very simple set intensity for this. You can do fancy stuff with timelines in your example, but for this case, we just set the intensity. So if it's activated, I set it to 5000. And if it's deactivated, I set it back to zero. So here's the interesting part. How do we actually get a references? So the trigger box knows where to trigger the event. The first method I'm going to show you is get actor of class. This will just look in the current level and find a class you have defined here. And I'm going to save this in a variable. It's already the right type. As you can see here, it's my blueprint light test and now I can just um, trigger the custom events I have created. I'm doing the same for the end overlap. In this case, I'm doing the deactivated and hit compile. And here you can see he found a reference to the actual light and he's turning it on and off again. But as you can see in this example, he's only doing it for the first light he finds because he just gets one actor of class. If you have multiple actors, there's the get all actors of class node in there. And the difference is very simple. It just looks for every actor it finds from the class and he's going to save it in an array. So in this case, you can see he have found all three lights and he saved it into this array. So now I have an array with all my lights in the level and I can get a copy. So he I can say, okay, I want a first light, I want a second light I have found, and I want to trigger something out of th this. So it's the same variable type, and you can see, depending on the index I'm setting there, he's triggering the event on the first, second, or third light he finds in the level. The cool thing with arrays is you can also use a for loop. So I can say, okay, for every light in this array, I want to trigger this event. So now he's going in there and doing the very same event, but for every light in the array. So this will look something like this. So the next method I want to show you, let's delete all of this, is you can define the variable in here. So let's name it correctly. And the important thing is you need to define the type. Let's do it here. And here um, we make it instance editable. But this does not mean you can change it in here because you actually need to do this in the level because you need a reference to the actor in the level. So now here you can define one of the lights and this way the trigger box knows exactly which light to trigger. And as I said, this is really important that you make this in the level. 
So if I pick another light and hit play, now this light is being triggered. And I can also go in there, create multiple trigger boxes and for everyone I'm going to trigger a different light. And now every trigger box has a different light to talk with. I can also go in there and instead of making a simple variable I can change this to be an array. And I'm going to use the for each loop again, like in the previous example. And I can do it for all the actors in the array. And remember right now the um, array is totally empty. So I need to define which actors I want to trigger. I can just add one. So it will just trigger this one light. But I can also go in there and add multiple lights at once. So this one will trigger both of the lights. And I think in this case you have the most control over how this works. It's the same I did in this door, security door tutorial. I also defined the door and the signal lights in there. So this way the security scan knows exactly which kind of door to open or what light to trigger. So those are four different methods you can use to define and connect the actor references in your project and regarding the type of project you are doing one method might be better than the other so just play around a little with all of them um, try things out and if you have any further questions just shoot me a message on our discord channel thanks for watching